so I'm sitting here in jam and I was thinking like I haven't done a vlog I didn't do a vlog for last week because nothing much happened worth recording I've kind of been trying to set up my practice my company and it's really difficult <laughs> There's just so much to read. There's so much school doesn't teach you. So today I met my mentor and we were going through like what I need for just to set up a company, the things I need to think about, he encouraged me to start my own, like to fill up my library, get all the legislation, acts and oh, by the time he was finished, I was like, it's about to get real. But something that he told me today, which kind of like blew my mind, was like, um, I think he quoted it from the book Seven Habits of a Highly Successful Person, a highly effective person. He was like, start with the end in mind. What's your goal? When do you hope to sit for your uh, professional papers? certificate when like and then work backwards like set the, the the year and the month the year you hope to sit and then work backwards and it was just like the best advice he could give me at, the, at this point in my time in my life because I'm like okay I need to set up um, there's a lot to set up anyway there's just so much to set up and it's it helps in terms of set even anytime you you have a vision it's like you have this big vision but you need to set um deadlines in a way to achieve your goals and then work backwards what do i need to achieve this da, 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 da. um yeah anyway so i am registering for my graduate uh, practice um next week and then i i hope to sit my to get my certificate of practice um i hope to get it um next next year so now i have to work towards that so that's kind of my goal but uh, and then there's so much i'm doing in terms of my home like i'm doing some um building some furniture um which will pretty much be what also what my company is doing in terms of interior design and furnishing and furniture building so yes yeah, so I'm building my my um, furniture and it's exciting it's exhausting I was telling my friend how I'm sanding because my electric sander just is not effective I think I need a new one so I've kind of been sanding with like the sandpaper I was saying I need to wear gloves otherwise I'm gonna get like hard hands have you like greeted people especially those who work manual labor and i'm like you know what i don't even have time for that i just want to get it done i have one more today i bought sealant varnish just to kind of seal my uh, chairs i'm using pallets recycled wooden pallets um you should check out a video i did um i'll probably put it somewhere there or there and I did that on what we're building calf pens for an agriculture project and yeah so I'll be I'll also be doing stuff like that oh, there's so much to do when you're setting up a company it's so you're so nervous because it's your dream and you're so scared that you're going to mess up or you don't have what it takes or you're going to lose the momentum because it's the that momentum but I think like the momentum comes at the beginning but then it dies so what is left with what what you're left with is consistency you just have to be consistent and that's something I'm really struggling with like trying to wake up early and then trying to have like an effective day so that by evening you know I'm done it's a lot it's a lot 
and you have to motivate yourself it's all self-motivation like you can't depend on people to keep telling you oh you can do this no 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 people have their lives and then you don't have a boss who expects you in work eight to five no you are your boss so you're the one to tell yourself hey get out of bed move but i i mean I, i'm gonna do this i shoof. Yeah, so I'm excited to see um, like what, like the renovation. I'm doing a total like interior renovation of my apartment. It's small, and I'm trying to do it under a very small budget, like a tiny, tiny budget. I'm just going to do my dining room and my living room and my kitchen. It has a bar area, so I'm really going to look for affordable ways to kind of. You know make it nice like make it nice i mean it will be a, a couple of it will be a long time before i move into my own place like my own house so i kind of just want to make where i'm staying now although it's a rental just comfortable yeah so right now it's 5 30 and the jam has started i hope to get out of, of town before then but i got stuck then I also set up my studio in my apartment, in my second bedroom. Just a small setup with lights and a backdrop and stuff. Just so that I can do more um, refined videos and better lighting and things like that. Right now the lighting is kind of good because it's still daytime. Um, but like, I want to improve the quality of my, of my stuff yeah what else oh another thing about setting up your own company is looking for clients it's not easy and since i came back i've kind of been calling up like contractors that i worked with told them that yay i'm back in town you know remember me keep my number or clients telling just saying hi just to, to let people know because people still think i'm abroad and just letting people know that I'm in town. It's a bit difficult. It's a bit difficult. Someone asked me what's the use of my like um, YouTube channel. Like, what do I hope to achieve? What's my objective? I'm not sure yet. I think maybe it's just really a platform I'm using to like show my talents my skills and just just promote myself I think I think it's a good platform social media I think we should we should be careful with the way we use social media actually so you get so caught up in this virtual reality that you need people to come and tell you like you know snap out of it or you need to tell yourself like look there's a whole world right in front of you you can't just be living this other life and just social media is for interacting with different people who all over the world who you've never met but i think you should also use it as a platform to promote who you are like what do you stand for what do you do who do you impact what are you about like what you know and i cut my hair like my sides <laughs> that was crazy actually i didn't think it was crazy when i did it like i just thought mm, this could be cool but then it's like my mom has been like oh my gosh you look like chameleon chameleon the artist not the animal the music artist i'm like let it go mommy this as me they loves it so chill but you know moms can never chill so i'm out thanks for driving home with me i'm not about to reach by the way i live so far i literally live in another district yeah literally i live in another district I have to drive from Kampala to Wakiso every time I'm coming to town. Like, it takes a lot for me to have to come to town. It has to be like really important. Otherwise, I do not like this commute. 
but it is what it is thanks for watching bye bye